The biggest question within the community and I see within the comment section of my own videos is when will Firefight release for Halo Infinite? Looking at the roadmap for Season 5, we got the Hero Ring, we got Forbidden, we got Extraction, we got Prism, we got the Battle Pass and Progression releases, we got the Forge AI Toolkit, the new Forge maps, Abandoned Evo, Multi-Use Helmets, but we haven't received Firefight King Hill or the Repair Field. If you guys like these informative videos, make sure to tap like and subscribe and let's get right into those details. And we did hear mid-season, later in Season 5 kind of rumors, so they didn't really give us an exact time frame but there are pretty good ideas of what we can expect to have firefight release for us recently 343 updated the playlist on the 28th keeping the halo 3 refuel playlist and keeping it until december 5th which i think if you're going to release a mode like firefight you want to have like a week of breath just to have like an average week nothing really crazy happening so when firefight does release it really hits with the community gets people excited about jumping in and playing halo again but if 343 really want to ride to the hype and just keep people playing december 5th is when the absolute soonest we would see firefight jump into the halo matchmaking experience but i don't think that's what 343 is going to do now you might think it's happening with the winter contingency it's happening on december 19th it'd be a great way to blast into the new operation get people excited but I don't think it's happening then either because this recent leak of Snowfire showing up in the game files makes you think there's going to be a winter themed playlist which if we're going to release Firefight the same time as this winter themed playlist they're going to overlap on each other and kind of take each other's thunder because 343 usually does a holiday break or the last two weeks of the year to kind of just relax take a breather from the hardcore development that they've been doing with this game so you'd want an all hands on deck situation with the release of Firefight it's a new mode at least new to Halo Infinite and the new mechanics are added and you want to make sure if any bugs happen or anything breaks that you have people on deck ready to help i have a feeling with the winter contingency update that comes on december 19th that it would just be like a nice little send up like hey guys enjoy the holidays see you back next year kind of thing and if 343 wants to give some breathing room from the halo 3 playlist that's ending on december 5th and the december 19th potentially a winter themed multiplayer experience that only leaves one tuesday where they do their updates and they would have to be on December 12th. Now, why all of this before the end of the year? One thing, and just again, get all your work done before you go on break. That's one important thing. And also that the season five will likely end soon after 343 comes back in the office in early 2024. The season five ending at the end of January, you wouldn't release a mode like Firefight right at the end of a season. We have the brand new cool stuff coming in with the next season. You want to give, again, that breather space. So it's either releasing on the 5th, on the 12th, or on the 19th. Now, what can we expect from Firefight when it actually does release to the public? Because we've got our information a little bits here, a little bit there. What's everything that you need to know? Well, I got you covered. Unlike Halo 5, which I believe had eight player Firefight, this will be a four player co-op experience. There will be nine maps at launch for matchmaking as well. Three of those maps though, will be part of the community created stuff so like you see in Forge, and also the new map House of Reckoning, which is ripped straight from the campaign, put into firefight on a side note 343 did mention they want to add community firefight maps as soon as possible as well how fast that turnaround is is dependent on how complicated the map is i'm sure we've seen 343 say that the fastest turnaround would be about eight weeks for a regular arena map but how complicated would a firefight map be compared to an arena map in the large scale side of things that it could be larger the more problems there are the longer it takes there will be matchmaking and custom game options for firefight which we're already experiencing custom games within the custom game browser right now i already had a video talking about it, showcasing some of the new firefly maps that the community has made which have been amazing if you haven't checked it out definitely give it a try and you will be able to choose your difficulty within the matchmaking settings as well very similar that we had back in halo 5 and of course you will be able to make battle pass progression because it's just time based how much you play the more progression you'll be able to make which is gonna be fantastic this is something that's been desperately needed when it comes to halo infinite is that you need to have something just a little bit more casual a little more turn your brain off and just kind of blow some stuff up experience which we haven't really had when it comes to Halo Infinite and you can, you can do it in custom games but it takes so much longer to make progression through there that I have a really strong feeling that Firefight's going to be a great way to boost up your XP and maybe even get max rank faster. You will have to score 5 hills to win the match of Firefight but it did state that if you did perfect a round within Firefight that a skull does get added. That, that is at random and it's all your traditional skulls like Iron, Blind, Mythic, things like that. And keep in mind that 343 normally does do a end of the year live live stream with the community so we could get a chance to see firefight early or even the winter playlist that was leaked out earlier that we talked about in this video and you know 343 is gonna be releasing blogs and information about firefight when it does come around here guys they'll give us a little wrap up they'll let us know when it's happening and of course once we do i'll let you guys know here on the channel thank you all for watching and greatly appreciate it catch you on the next one peace out